Hey folks, Carl Zendez here with another episode of Married Life with Los Zendez. And we were um, just talking about a few things and um, in light of what we were talking about, I decided to make a video because we hit a really interesting topic about the current times and, and the things that we're dealing with. Uh, hate to bring it up, but the coronavirus and, and just, uh, you know, the opportunities that um, and the good things that can come out of this you know not everything is doom and gloom there's actually uh, some very good things if we look in the right places and we focus and keep our our minds uh, in the right place and keep the right perspective you can see the good in all of this and I'm just gonna let Desi um, speak what's in her mind and the things that she was sharing earlier. Okay, well, hi everybody. Um, we were sitting here dialoguing, which we do a lot, and we end up in these interesting topics, so <laughs> figured we'd just do this while it was fresh. But, um, you know, as you know, and I'm sure you're experiencing it too, everybody is being told to stay indoors. You know, a lot of people are not working, a lot of people are home with their kids or whatever, their families, and, um, you know, we were just talking about how, you know, you hear different things, different chatter and stuff. And, you know, some people talk about being bored and, you know, not having anything to do or, you know, how this is just affecting them. And, you know, everybody's different. You know, I get that. But I do realize that a lot of, a lot of, you know, the way that things affect you is your perspective. And, you know, something I've had to learn through my life, he has too, you know, is that when you look at things look at the good that can come out of something you know it can change the way that you think you know how many of us how many of us have been asking for time you know how many of us for years you hear people saying oh god I'm so busy I don't have time for anything you know I wish I had more time you know to spend with my kids or with my husband or just time for for God to you know as a family or whatever so if you look at where we are right now if you're home with your kids if you're home with your husband if you're not, if you're not, you know, don't have a family, whatever, even if you're single, you know, we have time, you know, this is a really good opportunity to make good use of that time. You know, I was thinking about it and I said, how do we know that this is not a gift that God has given us in the midst of all this, all, all the chaos around us, mm -hmm. that we can come together as families to pray, to worship, to, to talk, to connect, you know, as married couples. You know how many married couples are working different shifts like we do and you know just trying to catch a moment here or there but it's like now if, if you have that time make make good use of it you know determine to you know separate some time and say hey i'm gonna spend some time here you know you kids go play mom and dad are gonna spend a little time here we're gonna you know have coffee whatever you know spend time with your kids talk to your kids you know talk to them about the word teach them and and pray together you know even if they're little you know just you know we have to raise them up and you know we feel like it's this is a, such a good opportunity in that way if you look at it that way you know and if you look at it and you really think about it the church starts in homes and families we are the foundation of the church so we should be strong we should be built up and God knows these times we're living in you have to be able to there's changes there's gonna be this this is nothing I mean God only knows what we're gonna see you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. but we have to remain firm and stable in him so our homes have got to be stable our homes have to be grounded and rooted in him because whatever we see down here whatever we see around us when we teach our kids that he is the foundation and that in him we have security in him no matter what we see no matter what goes on he meets our needs he provides for us he keeps us safe you know teach that to your kids if you're not already you know and just make good use of the time you know that's really all I wanted to share because it was just something that came through our conversations and you know time is precious you know but now that we have more of it make good use of it you know mm -hmm. Yeah, do make do hobbies <laughs> you know I hear a lot of people picking up hobbies which is is awesome you know reading books you know I was telling him that myself the other day I actually had some time that I usually don't have just to just to sit down and and you know and just 
take more time with God than I really have been able to, you know, and it was, I grabbed the opportunity and that was something that the Lord was showing me during that time was that, you know, that's what we need to do. That's what he wants us to do is, you know, we have time, reach out for him because he's there just waiting and he just wants us to be with him. And so he can show us and he can, he can help us to be secure in him and to even see the things that are coming because that's what he wants for us. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a good opportunity to take that pause in life and just like Desi said, give the Lord some time and just get before him and um, just rest in his presence and, and um, re refocus, recharge. And um, it's definitely a good time, like Desi said, to, to focus on the family, focus on the home, focus on, on each other. And, and just um, how many of us have been praying for uh, these uh, for, for some time for moments to come together whether it's with your spouse or with your children or here it is an answer to prayer you know let's make use of it let's uh, let's connect let's make it meaningful and um, God can do some really awesome things just keep that in mind throughout these times as we uh, keep our focus not on fear not on, on what's sure. going on uh, but on on God and on each other and just make the most of this opportunity So I think we're gonna end it here. We're gonna make this a short one Thank you for tuning in and we'll see you next time. God bless you. Bye Hi folks, Carlos and Desiree here with uh, another episode of married with Los and Des, Married Life with Los and Des. <laughs> do that again. <laughs> okay, ready? Hoopers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Hi, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you do like, that? <clears throat> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Oh, there you are. <laughs>